everybody, and welcome to Astroneer with your friend Kuros Paladin. So, I mentioned about uh, new saves. Here it is, January 13 already, and the Xenobiology update is out. So I decided I'm going to start a new save, and hopefully I can get some other players into the game, but not tonight, unfortunately. It was just a little bit too short notice to get everybody actually anybody to play tonight uh, so uh, as you can see I'm here at the main menu uh, I you know always talk about my uh, saves and everything that is the big save the huge save I should say and then these two are the next biggest ones fourth and five two and three I never really did much in those uh, this is one that Captain Clueless and I played very briefly and then he got flung off into the distance on a tractor, and that kind of soured the milk on that save. I don't know why I still have that one. This is the series, uh, the save that I always have been doing for the past year or so. Uh, this is, full disclosure, I did play a little bit today, just to get familiar with the new mechanics of the game. Um, so I do know a little bit of what's coming up already. Um, I just wanted to... I, I couldn't wait. I wanted to get into it, but I wanted to be a little bit prepared. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a new adventure game. Boom. And uh, it didn't even give me a chance to select my outfit. Okay. Because I wanted to get out of the Christmas, Christmassy outfit. So, all right. We're going to... Not in the middle of the mountain. Okay, good. I don't like starting in mountains. Well, this is not bad. I like this. I'm fairly close to, uh, yeah, this is pretty good. In fact, look at that. Ammonium right there. All right. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have all of these uh, um, missions now. Okay, we're going to exit. Oh, I took down trees. That was not intentional. Oh, no. <gasps> Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh. Well, that, that really is disappointing. I didn't mean to, like, totally destroy the forest back there. Oh, well. Okay. So, it has been a while since... Oh, look at that. Look at that. All hail Zebra Ball. I don't know which one it is. We'll find out pretty soon. So, let's go ahead and grab that right off the bat. All right, so it has been a while since I did a new save. Uh, you know, I, earlier today I did, but... So, let's go ahead. We're going to grab our oxygenator and small printer. Boom. There we go. Okay, we're going to attach that there. That completes that mission. We're going to do that. Put that in to complete that mission. Boom. Already, we're doing pretty good. So that gets us tethers and some bites. Excellent. Boom. Let's grab those tethers. All right. What else do we got here? So we have breathing space, connect a tether to the oxygenator, and lights in the distance. Okay. So I'm not going to make an effort in this save to go after the gateway chambers. I mean, I will unlock them, but I'm really not as concerned about getting everything unlocked. Probably just one per planet just to make it easy. So, all right. So connect a tether to the oxygenator network. Bam! That was easy. So easy. We'll just pick it right back up. And that gets us a small canister and 500 bytes. Excellent. Boom. I love that canister. Let's go ahead and put that right where I like to have that right there. And we're going to move those just because I'm OCD. All right. Uh, and then we've got some other missions. So, you know, these are really... Qu I keep hitting the wrong darn button. There we go. Um, these are fairly quick forward, right? Or quick to do. Four compound, four resin, land filling, fill a small canister. So, um, the xenobiology stuff is going to come up. Uh, it actually is part of the new missions. But you probably already saw them. Here's a hint of the xenobiology update. It's a, um, it is a silver shell. And it is like uh, research. You can pick them up and research them for bites, but I'm not going to do that yet. Oh, look. This is cool. This will be very handy. Let's grab that right off the bat and attach that. Um, I notice you don't get a platform anymore. I think you used to get a small platform 
or a medium platform at the start of the game? Looks like you don't anymore. Actually, is there anything else over here aside from just this wreck? Nope, nothing else. Okay, I thought there might have been a... Nope, I thought there might have been a backpack of some stuff. Alright. So, um, compound and resin. Let's see if we can see any off in our distance here. Uh, poking our astro near nose around. Don't see... Uh, oh, wow. Now, that save that I played earlier today... Um, oh, my gosh, I had resin all around. But, on the uh, downside, the nearest mountain was far away. And uh, that made getting copper really difficult. So, All right, I see a little bit of resin up here in the hill. So let's go ahead. Let's get a tether line out there. But I want to... I've got all this ammonium right here. That'll be really cool. Makes it a little bit easier to get that... Because that is always one of the harder things to find. Okay, I'm having a hard time putting these tethers down. There we go. All right. So let's just go ahead. Um, okay, we'll grab this. Shoop, there, 27 bytes. So I'm going to go this direction. There's one. Two. Three. Or that was... Okay, I'm f almost full up on organic. And I gotta remember... Gotta breathe, gotta breathe, gotta breathe. Alright, where are those tethers at? There they are. There. Alright. Resin, resin, resin. My drunken... A line of drunken tethers, or whatever. Okay, there's four resin. <laughs> Let's head back and drop those off. I'm just gonna dump them here unceremoniously. And we'll, we'll use this organic here. It'll all be useful. Okay. Now I just need compound. That just that even looks like a that looks like one of the rare ones too. It is all hail cow spot ball. Ooh wow. Let's just go ahead and grab you. Uh oh. Er. I'm so used to having the uh uh um I can't remember what they call it the hoverboard. I'm so used to having that. That's a ways off now, unfortunately. Alright, there we go. So we have our zebra ball. Or, I'm sorry, our... Our cow spot ball. Let's just... Find a spot for it. Um... Where it's not gonna roll away. Okay, that'll be good right there, right? Yep, okay. So now I need four compound. Let's see... Uh, let's poke around just a little bit more. I don't see any compound. There's some resin. And I see an exodynamics research aid out there in the distance. Oh, I'm so used to that hoverboard. I got so spoiled by it. Okay, let's try this. Let's just keep going through this hilly area. Maybe there's some more com there's some compound back here somewhere. So we'll go this way. Oh look, more resin. Oh, more lumbus bread. Alright. Um Wow. Where is the compound? And I have a cat butting my hand. Oh, here's a uh, exo cache. That'll be really good for uh, some exo chips in the future. All right, and I am out of tethers, so um, wow, this isn't not a good start. Not a good start. Where is the compound? Show me the compound. Alright, maybe if I 
go up here and look around. There's another uh, XO. There we go. I see some over there. All right. I see some there. Is there any closer? Um, that looks like the closest I can get. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these tethers so I can go out that direction some. So one, two, three, four. Okay. All right, one, two, three, up, 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 time that just not quite good. Three, four, oh, that was it, okay. Close enough. Let's gobble up that. Got our land filling done, that's good. I'm going to cheat, but... Four, okay. Excellent. So this episode might go a little bit long just because there is so much to do in the early game. Um, to actually get somewhere in the early game. So it might go a little bit long. Um, you know, I might actually go for an hour for this episode. Uh, hopefully I'll get enough going. So if you're watching this video, you've probably already seen... Oh, 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 you're escaping. You are escaping. Let's, let's give you a better spot. There we go. Um, you've probably already seen what is in store. Um, but if you haven't, I hope uh, this is entertaining for you. So, um, But there is something that unlocks the new content. So, boom! I have a two medium platforms and storage. So let's go ahead. Now I don't have to leave everything just laying around on the ground. The two platforms. I always like to have something a little bit parallel to the front door. And then we'll take you, put you there on top. We'll put another one over here. We'll extend this way for right now. This is by no means, of course, the final layout of the base. Uh, early on is just a hey, survival, basically. So, alright. Three, four, one, two, three. And put you there. Okay. And then some organic for later on. In fact, what the heck, we'll just keep the organic in a stack here. There we go. Okay. Um... What else do I have to do? So, printing up. So, print a medium printer and slot it, retooling. So, I'm pretty certain let's do printing up. So, a medium printer and slot it to the uh, network. So, let's grab our printer. Oops, that is not what I wanted. Put you back. One thing I do know um, with all these new missions is you do get a lot of stuff um, that is very useful in the beginning. So like right here, I'm going to get a large platform and the schematic for the large platform. Boom. And that large platform will, of course, be crucial. Um, I like my base to be somewhat flat, so what we're going to do, we're going to start extending our flat platform, and now I have another cat that is clawing my arm. I love you, hun. I love you, but oh my gosh. Okay. We're gonna move you to back here. Um, it doesn't really matter, does it? Not really. Just make certain they're locked, which they are unpack so I can have a print platform and we're gonna leave some space because I don't want to be too claustrophobic here and I'd like to be a little bit straight okay let's put you there 
you there. We have our print platform now, and we will lock that into place. Excellent. All right, what did I get for doing that now? Because I know there was a reward for it, and I get another medium. Oh, wait, no. Retooling powerful problems for science. Okay. Um, print and connect a small generator to power network. Gets me the small battery. A small battery and the schematic. And also print and use a research chamber. I will need more compound for the research chamber. Because the research chamber is, if I remember, two compound, one resin. Alright. Let's run all the way over, grab more compound. I can't believe this is the closest. I hope there's more, because if this runs out... Okay, that should be good enough for a while. Um, I do know, I do remember this, the soil centrifuge is a reward for doing one of the missions. Um, What's great about the reward systems is if you already have the schematic unlocked, it just gives you the bytes. It basically refunds the bytes, which is kind of a nice thing. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to print a research chamber. Um, and I do have enough resin to print another large platform. Um, but I could temporarily just move this medium printer over to this platform over here. I don't have to have a print platform this quick. All right, while that is printing, I'm going to go sniff some roses, because research is always good, even though I am uh, doing a research, or printing a research chamber at the moment. You know, that's a real power drag. So if I can build up research other ways, and really, wandering around sniffing roses is not that terrible of a way to grab research, to be honest. In a way, it might be faster, so... Especially the early game, because, you know, you only find, uh, like, that blue tomato or whatever that's in the tree over there. Those are only worth, like, 600 or something. I don't even know if they're worth that much. Um, you can hit a couple of these plants that have five research on them, if I can find one, and get a hundred just from that, so. Yeah, here's one that has, looks like four. Watch the oxygen, because it does deplete really quick when you don't have that oxygen tank. And I have gotten so used to the oxygen tank. Whee! So where are we up to already? 1800, not bad. And it looks like our research chamber is complete. So what we're going to do is we're going to move that there. Unpack, and that should, there we go. For science! What did that give us? I should have looked. Uh, two beacons and 250 bytes. Beacons are cool. Um, I usually use them to find, or to mark um, deposits of resources like ammonium, but since the ammonium is right there, it uh, I don't need it for that. So uh, here we go, a sampling. Um, let's just knock that one out really fast. So all I have to do is pick up 10 research. Come on, there. One. A little longer than I anticipated. And the shells count, but I'm leaving them for a moment. I need, I'm going to need some of them. So I'm going to leave them. 
I discovered that earlier today. But they do count for uh, research. Okay, let's go top off on O2. And keep looking for research. Right in here, there's a couple. Two, three. Oh, this should do it. One, two, three. There we go. Four. Look at that. Five on just that one planet. Planet? Plant. <laughs> I didn't have to run all the way back to the landing platform. But that's the only way to claim... Um, oh, here we go, a sampling. There we go. Three tethers! Well, that's pretty useful. Let's go ahead and drop those off over here so they don't get lost. I did discover something that's bad about the way things just get unceremoniously dumped onto that platform. Um, I had a shuttle on that platform, and when something got dumped on it, um, it got clipped. It clipped through the geometry, and I lost it. So it was a little disappointing. Sorry, I am bleeding thanks to Cat. Um, she needs to learn to retract her claws. Okay. Uh, what else we got going here for missions? Actually, I know I can look at the mission log remotely, but... So, smelteringly hot, retooling, powerful problems, take a bite, gain 2,000 or more bites, the master of unboxing, um, unlock an XO research aid unit. Okay, let's do that one right now. So, the powerful problems... Um, I need compound, which I do have, and then I just want to make a generator. Excellent, and connect it. It's already powered. Boom. Easy as one, two, three. That gets me a small battery and the schematic. Awesome. I'm going to put you over here and put the battery right here. That way I can store up some power. What was the next mission I had? Um, fully charge a battery. That'll happen on its own fairly soon. In fact, if I turn this on, it'll happen a little faster. I'm trying to... I, I don't remember what it was, but there is one that unlocks what we're after here. And I can't remember what it was. I do know it was not... Well, maybe it was. I might have to go up to one of the gateway chambers. Because it might be... Uh... No, it's not that one. Eyes on the theme. No. Oh, and my cat just... <sighs> Alright. I'm sorry, folks. I gotta move a cat. She is causing problems. Okay. Uh, I know it is not that one. I'm pretty certain it is not that one. Um, okay, I, I'm just going to have to slog through these. So, Master of Unboxing. Um, I can actually get to the mission log from here. Uh, unlock and print a smelter. Refine aluminum. Um, unlock print. I know it's not that. Take a bite. It could be that. Master of Unboxing. Okay. So I know for Master of Unboxing, I need at least two um, generators. Because I think you need two U in order to do that. I am going to go after instead... I have to just make a, a decision here. Um, smelter really hot. So... The smelter is one compound, two resin. Oh, that would help if I actually selected it, wouldn't it? There we go. Two resin and a compound. Go ahead and print that up. Uh, 
While that's going, I'm going to wander around and grab more research, because I'm only at, like, what was that, 400-something? And I need 2,000 research to unlock that one, so take a bite. So let's just wander around and sniff a lot of roses and hope that we don't get stung by any bees while we're doing it. back. Top off on that oxygen. Still printing. It'll be done fairly soon. What do we got over here? Okay. That takes care of smelteringly hot. Then I think I just have to unpack it, so... Boom, and then, oh, I need to get aluminum. So, I need to go underground, because that's the only place that we find laterite. So, I also want to plan this base out. I don't want to be crowded. Um, right now, of course, uh, things are going to be a little crowded, but I don't want to be crowded in the future. And by crowded, I mean fixtures that I can't move out of the way. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my entrance to the underworld over here. Um, but I do need, I need to come back over here, because if I am going to go wandering, oh, 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 well, I needed a second generator anyhow, but darn it, I meant to get tethers. Alright, where'd that generator go, so... I'll just drop it off right here for right now, okay. But I really wanted a lot of tethers. Okay. Um, so I want my entrance to the underworld to be far enough away that it's not going to restrict where I uh, can place things. But not so far away, of course, that it's inconvenient. So I think right about here will be okay. I could have a road that just kind of like comes right in and goes right up to here and then down right here. So this is where it's going to go. Um, I'm just curious what this... Okay, that doesn't actually make it down. If that made it down to the underworld, I would have used that, but okay. So let's go ahead and we just want to start with... Uh, a little bit steeper than that. How's that look? That looks good. So we're going to use that try. Triangle. And let's go ahead and... I need to not, not do what I always do, which is trying to make this large enough right off the bat for vehicles. I don't... it doesn't have to be that big. Um, I can make this a little bit steeper. Uh, but I don't want to spend 20 minutes trying to do it. There we go, that's good. Okay. So I don't have to make this wide enough for a vehicle right now. It only has to be wide enough for my little guy to get down there. But one thing I do want to do is right about here. I'm going to take a pause. Oh, I really miss not having the work light. I want to have a plateau. Um, kind of a flat area, or a landing, I guess I could call it. Not a big one, just, that's good enough right there. 
Um, and what that landing is going to be is I might have some underground stuff that leads off of that. And now I can continue downward again. I want to make certain it's mostly straight, so what we're going to do, face the little guy. Yeah, that worked out. So face him that direction so I know. Ooh, I had it right there. And then I messed it up. There we go, that's good. So we are on the search for laterite. And hopefully I find some because I have had where there was nothing nearby when I was looking for it. Same with sphalerite. I need both of them. Made it down. And you can see I'm doing it again. I'm making this for vehicles already. I don't know why, I just always seem to do that. I seem to think that I need to make it wide enough for vehicles right off the bat. One thing I will re mention that I do know from my quick play earlier today is uh, grabbing plants is going to become very important. Oh, let's go grab some oxygen. There we go. And let's extend those tethers. There. So yeah, I see the pop coral there and they become important. Look at that. It's almost like I planned that could go right into that next tunnel there. Unfortunately, I don't have anywhere to flatten out, though. So I didn't plan very well, because... Oh, well. <laughs> All right. Let's get some tethers down here. there. Let's take a peek around. Is there any laterite nearby? Oop, oh, look, there's a medium generator. Let's grab that. And set it right there for the time being. That will be very handy because power at the early game is difficult. Poking around, I don't see any laterite. Um, it might be faster to just head down to the next level. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, oh. Okay, I see a hint of sphalerite here. Let's expose that so I know where it's at in the future. Oh, and then I just... There, so I see it. Excellent. I'm going to head down to the next level. We'll have to figure out uh, how to flatten this out in the future. So we'll ramp down. Oh gosh, that's almost straight level. Let's ramp down a little bit better than that. Oh. I'm having a hard time with controls, and I don't know why. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Oh, I see laterite. Excellent. Oh, don't slide down all the way. I may have made this a little too steep, though.
Did I? And no, it is a bit severe, but it's not too steep. Just want to cover this hole up. All right, we'll sneak around. Oh, look, I can get two birds with one stone, as it were. Because I can do this. And that takes care of that mission. And I'd better get my little guy back up to some oxygen. There. Excellent. Grab some more. Plenty of laterite. Grab you while we're going. And actually, that research that I just picked up will help me with that 2000. Uh oh. Now, that was a bug that they supposedly fixed. Um, supposedly, you, in new saves, you will no longer get stuck. Um, you should be able to just continue on and not get stuck on things anymore on the terrain. I don't know how true that is, but we'll see. All right, I'm going to do this, but I want this first. 1300 plus. Oh, I've already hit the 2000. Well, or did I have to get 2000 more? Let's find out here. Master of unboxing. Oh, the buggy. The buggy. I love the buggy. That'll make things so much easier. Um I really am trying to remember. Okay. So I had to get 2000 more bytes. Okay. I know it is not this one. I'm pretty certain it is not this. Um, and then I have to refine aluminum, so I have to wait. Erg. Let's go grab some resin. So I can get some more platforms. Sorry. A little bit of a hiccup there. So, <laughs> I am sorry this is taking so long. It felt like it was a lot faster when I was doing it earlier. <laughs> okay. And yeah, I just killed my power. Um, I need compound. So let's go grab compound. Because I need a rover seat. Sniff some roses. Anything to get to that 2,000? Quickly. It's so weird having to to watch the oxygen level. I'm not used to it.
I guess what I could do to help, there we go. Speed things up a little bit. Okay. Another platform. This is not going to be the world's most optimal base for the time being. It is going to be purely function. I want to get that one aluminum so I can unlock the next mission. I can turn that off and let that go. New mission to parts unknown. Okay. Smelterly hat. Another medium storage. Excellent. And I think that was what I was looking for. I think, folks, I just saw what I was looking for. One of the new missions. Yep, bait and switch. That's the one. Okay, so gather sphalerite. So I need three three sphalerite. This is the one. Uh, let's read that. So samples of sphalerite are needed to initiate local fauna examinations. So let's go down. Grab that sphalerite. I probably should have grabbed it because I already knew I was going to need it, but... I wanted to leave space for the uh, aluminum laterite. There's one. Two, three, excellent. And, oh, look at that, even got come take a bite. So, making a lot of progress now. All right, let's do this first so we get our 500 bytes. Bait and switch. A strange object. Place and activate the strange object on the surface of Silva. Kronos case file, fate of the ESS Triton. Please deploy at a safe distance. Now that... Look at that. What is it? And I did learn, yes, do do this at a safe distance. So I am going to put this down, as it says, at a safe distance. You can rotate it, obviously, which is good. And let's go ahead and deploy it. And I had to run back for oxygen. I had to come back here anyhow because I'm going to need these. And I can cheat. I'm going to grab... Well, no. No, I don't need to cheat. Okay. Uh, grab a couple power cells. Those will be nice. Or just one. Put that down over here. We'll go ahead and refine the rest of that aluminum. Um, and... What the heck? Get that sphalerite going as well. Alright. So let's go over to this thing. Um, before I do that... Okay, I have enough tethers. So definitely going to need to get tethers out. Oh, wait, no, this thing has its own oxygen. If I get to it fast enough. 
because it did there is an oxygenator mixed into this mess somewhere somewhere in all of this is an oxygenator uh, there it is and if you hook it up this will supply oxygen boom in fact that was one of the missions so okay so what is our next mission that we want to do over here a breath of fresh air boom okay so we have jumper cables provide power to the xenobiology lab on silva the wrecked xenobiology lab needs its internal power recharged find a working cable port on its structure um, well there we go cable port I need those generators, which I've got right there. So let's go ahead. I think I just need the one. Hook it up. Yep, there we go. Powering up. Boom, boom. Completed. There. No thy... Galastropod. That's what they call them. Oh, interesting. <laughs> interesting. I didn't even notice the, the music. And uh, before I forget, I didn't realize... Um, there we go. Let's go back. Equip. There we go. Go back to our, our standard. So that music sounded pretty bad. Use button to activate track tracker. Know thy gastro galastropod. And here we have some story. Um, let's go ahead and read this off. My research continues en route to Lubus Prime. This is my first time working with the natal species natal specimens before they've undergone environmental adaptation. All seven galastropods remain in good health. Nothing substantial to report. On a personal note, I question the value of our current mission. Extensive research has already been provided on Galastropodia Galastropoda aptum, and I fail to see the added value that exposure to Lubos Prime will bring. Exo's solutions for containment are questionable at best, turning a species with such invasive qualities into house pets. Additionally, Crewman now has taken to spending all his free hours in the nursery, interrupting my work. His insipid cooing and insistence on naming them is irritating. I dread the hours he's not on shift. And then entry two... Despite my best efforts, Rogel continues to escape from his terrarium in favor of taking up space in my coat pocket. I fear I have spelled him one too many times with our walks around the ship. The little ones have taken over my lab. Increasing personal interaction has resulted in extremely positive results. Much as I hate to admit it, the snails do seem happier, and I find myself strangely energized once they've all been fed and sorted. I even caught Usagi singing this morning. Now will never let me live this down. I will have to settle our bet the next time he's free. His team has been extremely busy charting a course towards the anomaly our scanners picked up. I do hope he finds time to drop by the nursery soon. And then we have an entry that we can't get to that's locked. And then we have entry four. This will be my final entry. The Triton is under attack. I am the only one left. I've sealed the nursery, but it won't be long before they find me. Now called me earlier, or whatever that thing is, pretending to be now did. There's no way off the ship for me, but I've set the command to jettison the nursery. All that's left is to push the button. If you're reading this, please take care of these little ones. I cannot save the Triton, but maybe I can save them. Interest. Oh, we have a lot of stuff here. Let's see. Galastro, Galastropodia aptum. Origin planet unknown. Galastropoda aptum is an invasive species that was first discovered in 0256 use, uh, NCE. While their origin planet is unknown, 
Glastropod eggs hitch rides on nursery comets until such a time that they crash into our crash into or encounter more solid ground for hatching. Young galastropods quickly adapt to the planetary environmental conditions they are exposed to, presenting a variety of features when fully grown to help them survive in nearly any circumstance. Evolutionary galastropod physiology is known to hijack a neurological response in the orbital frontal cortex of other beings, ensuring the care and survival of the species. In response to the interaction and food given to them, Glastropods provide their protectors with temporary positive effects and influences. Glastropods are known to be playful and mischievous creatures. They enjoy music, dancing, and interaction. When approaching a glastropod for companionship, their social behavior must be considered. Exodynamics recommends gently coaxing them out of hiding and then attempting to appease the glastropod's whims. It may take several tries at playing with a glastropod before it will allow itself to be placed within a terrarium. Exodynamics recommends that all glastropods are kept securely within terrariums, both to ensure glastropod safety and to restrict the species from becoming a detrimental ecological force. A contained and well-fed glastropod is a happy glastropod. Okay, that was a lot of reading. Let's head back to the base and see what more we can do here. Um, so we're, we're starting to learn about the Galastropods, a.k.a. Space Snails! Oxygen filter. I'll just place that over here. I don't usually use these. Of course, though, uh, maybe I should pretty soon. All right. Uh, what else do we got going here? Uh, retrieval of local glastropod requires data. Find and scan its discarded shells on the forests of Silva. So I need five of them, and this is why I was leaving these alone. So we have one. Come on, they were all over the place. Where are they now? There's one. Two. Three. Let's grab some of these, because any research I can get. Four, five. Completed. G. Silva shells. New mission, terrarium. Boom. Look, a terrarium. So this is... The uh, the terrarium is where you keep your galastropods. Galastropod, yes. Um, okay. Let's go back and look at that mission, because the mission tells us what to do with it. Terrarium. So we have to provide it with soil, zinc, and a bounce vine seed. All right, well... I have soil, so let's go ahead. I have zinc. It's almost like we planned for this. Boom. So now I need a bounce vine seed. So bounce vines, I see some right over here. Top off on some oxygen. And this is, uh, they made it now where just about every plant you dig up now will, oh, that will be nice, will provide one or more seeds, probably even two, yep. But you still have to be really darn quick because if you don't, oh, come on, I want that research. If you don't uh, get them planted really quick, they will disappear. So. So what I can do um, is top off on oxygen. There we go. Take this.
put that there. That'll be very handy. Set these down here. Excellent. Okay. Uh, so now I want to plant one of these before it disappears. But I want to put it where it is not going to uh, bounce my little guy around. So we'll put it right over here for the time being. And then the other one we're going to put in the terrarium. And look at that! It's like... It's a little terrarium! It's kind of cute. Come back over here. And we're going to get a small trumpet horn. Boom! So what do we do with the small trumpet horn? Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, let's get away from the base just a little bit. There we go. We're going to put down the terraria. Actually, we don't need to put it down, but we're going to anyhow. And then we're going to attach the horn. Ah, oh, look! It's a space snail! Oh, it is so cute! Hi! Hi! So it wants you to dance! So let's go ahead and dance. Da 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 He disappeared. There. Oh, he's over by my base now. Or it, I should say. Hi. Hi. Yeah, let's do another dance for you. Ready? Yeah. Okay. So it is happy now. So let's grab our terrarium. And then it's kind of like Pokemon. We're going to befriend. Ta-da! So now it's in there. Don't worry, it's happy, it's safe. It's happy. And I love this part. I found this while I was playing around earlier. So it's just looking at you, right? But if you dance again, watch. <laughs> it waves to you! <laughs> Every time you dance in front of it, it waves. And then, if you pick, if you gaze, hi, hi, and then you can pet it, and then peekaboo, ah, peekaboo. <laughs> oh, it's just so cute. Okay, but it's kind of disturbing how you can just like shoop right onto your backpack. Poor little thing is getting shaked around in there. Um, now, what it wants me to do? Let's go read the instructions over here. Um, oh, I haven't finished it. Okay, it wants me... Oh, let's read that. So, the Xenobiology Lab requires scan of G. Silva. Place the Galastropod on input slot for analysis. So let's go ahead. We'll go over and place it on there for analysis. Don't worry, it's a passive scan, so it doesn't hurt the little guy. All the lights light up. Ta-da! All right. There we go. So we we have our first galastropod, and we can set it right here. Look at that. Um, not a very prestigious location right next to the small printer. I'm going to need to get a lot more platforms, of course, going. But we have our first one. Look at that. Uh, and it, oh, by the way, they, it has this ability. So you can carry it around with you, and it illuminates the area. It's kind of like a work light. And the, you'll see it has a favorite food, a mutant hispine seed. If you feed it, a hispine seed, it will improve the illumination it gives off. So, um, that is still growing. But, let's go read this for our mission. So, boom. Galastropod care. Feed a galastropod a seed. Feed your galastropod. Galastropods can eat any seed. Favorite foods increase the benefits received. 
Um, we also want to provide more power to the Xenobiology Lab and use data log to activate Xenobio Xenobiology Lab's tracker. So more power means I just have to take over um, the generators. We're going to do this. We're going to start farming, basically. So let's just cover up that hole. Um, I would like to get a little bit smoother. There we go, that's good. And then we're going to plant that one. But we're going to take this, and we're going to feed this one to our uh, to Sylvie. Hunt, munch, 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 bing! Yay! And now, you, look, it's happy! It's happy! <laughs> and it, will, it still watches you, because if I go over and I dance in front of it again, watch. Da 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 and it waves! <laughs> oh, it is such a cute little thing, isn't it? Alright, let's go see what we got here. So, Galastropod Care. Oh, I get a QTRTG for that. Oh, that's that's awesome. That's, uh, I really need that. Boom. Okay. Get some power going. We'll drop that off right there. We'll find you a better home pretty soon there, Sylvie. All right, um, now that I have the power, uh, oh, and I even have the, uh, whatchamacallit going, solar panel. Um, I want to get the rover seat, because I want to get bugging around, as it were. All right, well, we I've been going for just over an hour here, and this might be a good spot to say we're done for right now, but we got our first galastropod. Yeah, Sylvie! Hi, Sylvie! Hi! <laughs> I don't even know do, if you if I wave, does it wave back? Yep! <laughs> so, um, we, we have our first Galastropod in our new save. So, I'm really excited. This is going to be a lot of fun. Um, you know, this is a, a fun game. I really do like this game. They're introducing more content, which, of course, makes the game... Gives you more things to do in the game, of course. You know, more content. That's, of course, what it means. But um, it's the self-direction part of it that I really enjoy the most. Uh, last thing, before we quit for the evening, I'm going to go ahead and provide the power it asked for. Boom. There we go. So it now has the power it wanted. And then let's see, what do we got here? Use button to activate tracker. Oh, look, the, the satellite went. And that music. <laughs> Did I unlock anything more? Yeah, so we have a DeSolo. Oh, I didn't. Did I read these? No, I didn't. A brave and curious companion who emits a bright light from their body when well fed. Sylvie illuminates the darkest of places no matter where they reside. And then the DeSolo. So every planet has a different breed. An adventurous and playful companion who is an expert at finding shiny things when well fed. Usagi will happily help point out places to check out on any planet you're on, no matter where she resides. And then the Kalidor, a resilient companion who lets you breathe easily on any adventure when well fed. Stilgar is a spicy addition to any backpack. The air must flow! <laughs> Somebody's been watching Dune. Okay. <laughs> I think that's Dune. I, I never watched it, but isn't it The Spice Must Flow or something like that? Um, and then what do we got here? Tracking power. Uh, some more oxygen filters. So, boom. Okay. Uh, do I have space for the oxygen filters? Um, kind of running a little low on space here. Uh, da, 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 da. Actually, what I could do is we'll put these off to the side. There. Oh, I already used some of that one. Okay. Well, heck, that one's almost depleted, so what the heck? Oh, wait, now it finally activated. That was weird. Okay. Whatever. Alright. Oh, let me put this back where it should be. 
and drop off that. Actually, what I would like to do, since I've got so much organic, let's go ahead and smelt that into carbon, because I do have that medium generator that could be used if I am in a pinch for more power. Uh, we'll put the horn next to Sylvie, and let's put this uh, QTRTG back on the base so it can be providing power for right now. Actually, one of those generators, where did I put them? For now, can go here. Eventually, this will have QTRTGs on it, but... Alright, so everybody, I hope you had a great time watching this episode, and uh, you enjoyed the adventure to recover Sylvie. And what we're going to do, look at that, Sylvie just hanging out, just grooving, having a good old time. Little space snail, yeah! Do, 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 okay. Um, so next episode, we're going to continue... Um, obviously there's seven of these little critters, and we're going to get all seven of them. Um, it looks like I don't have to keep this thing alive. I just have to keep it happy to get the benefit from it. If I don't feed it, then I just don't get the benefit from it. Um, so I'm quite happy just, uh, letting, uh, Sylvie stay there safe. So, all right, everybody. So... We will see, or I will see you in the next episode uh, of Astroneer. I want to say thank you for watching. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this new save. Let's turn just a little bit this way. There we go. With this new save, um, and hopefully we're going to just, uh, you know, have a fun time with a new save. Take care, everybody, and bye.